In this video, we're going to try and correct a number of mistakes or a number of problems that we've now created just in making our game. So if we do a quick recap, our monkey moves left and right, which is perfect. The animations are really good. And when we stop pressing left or right, the monkey faces forward, even though there's a little slider quite like that. Now, what's the problem that we're trying to fix today? We've got our jump, and if you remember, we corrected the jump so that you can't jump multiple times. But one of the big problems that we've created is that when you jump, the monkey is allowed to actually fly across the screen. And this is going to become a problem because it's a platform game, which means when we jump, we need to land on platforms. And this kind of crazy flying through the air is just not going to help us. So what we need to do is fix that mistake first of all and then we'll deal with the animations in the next video because of course when he jumps he's kind of moving his legs so let's first fix the problem of this ridiculously long jump let's go back to our code and if you can see the first thing I'm going to correct is I'm actually going to take our left and right movement and I'm going to make them 1.1 so rather than 2 so if I again test this game I think when we added or minus two from the x velocity it just makes our character move too fast and although it's a good thing to have fast movement it's not good when you're playing a platform game and you're trying to be really precise so if we now have a look you can see his movement is a lot better and let's see what happens to the jump yeah the jump is still too long so what we're going to have to do is figure out a way that when he jumps in the air he doesn't travel so fast forward. So what we're going to have to do is figure out how to put into code what we just said in words. So I think we're going to need an if, like so. And what we're going to do is figure out how to slow down the monkey when he's in the air and not touching the ground. And that's the answer, I think, because we already know when he's touching the floor with our touching floor Boolean attribute we can now figure out when he's not touching the floor. So if, and we can do this immediately, we'll go to the attributes, if touching floor, we'll go to the flow and we'll say, if touching floor, let's put that in the if, if the touching floor is equal to false, meaning if he's not touching the floor, which means he's jumping in the air, what we're going to do is, now let's do a quick recap of our movement of left to right. Now if you remember this particular block, it was the set x velocity to x velocity times 0.98. If you remember, we call that our slowing down factor. So the higher this number is, so 0.99, our monkey is going to slow down very, very slowly. In other words, he's going to slide. And the lower we make this number, when we let go of our left or right, a lower number will make the monkey slow down much faster. And we're going to use this code over here to slow our monkey down faster when he's in the air than when he's on the floor. So basically what we're going to do is just copy this attribute over here. We're going to set the x velocity to x velocity times a number. So let's go for our blocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to times x velocity by a much lower number. So just to make it obvious, we'll do a 0 0.5, which is a really low number. I'm going to put this block underneath the other slowdown block there. So that's the normal. And if he's ever in the air, his velocity, his x velocity, is going to get halved. It's going to get slowed down really fast. So let's try that. And you can see that when I jump, because we put 0 0.5, He's not allowed to jump forward at all. So obviously that number is way too low. So let's make it 0 0.95. Although that doesn't look very low. It's quite low compared to 0 0.98. Let's just test that out. So here we go. We're going to jump. And that's a lot better. Because although he jumps, he's not allowed to jump all the way across the screen. So it's kind of feeling much more like a platform game. And there we go, he's jumping. Now, of course, we can adjust that. If we find that the jump is just not far enough, we can take that 0 0.95 and make it 0 0.96 and so on. So we've now got a way of fine-tuning 
the jump in the air and making sure that the monkey can't just jump across the whole screen.